to port PBR materials. As you can see, everything pretty much looks a little bit flat with no reflections. And if we go over to the material tab and select this wood material, you get your typical color adjustments and size and opacity. But if you scroll down, you see that you have additional settings. So now you can adjust the metalness, roughness at a normal map and an ambient occlusion. The metalness setting controls how much the material will reflect because this is not a metal material, we're going to keep this at zero. Roughness also controls how sharp the reflections will be. So we wanna have this somewhere in the middle. And to add a roughness map, you wanna click on this plus icon. So this is our roughness map. And we can still use the slider to adjust the texture. As you can see, it starts to reflect pretty nice. So now let's add the normal map icon. And we can also adjust this slider to control the strength of the normal maps. If you go too high, it starts to look very unrealistic, although this is pretty impressive for SketchUp. So let's keep this at a very low value, somewhere around there. Now for the wood table, I also like to add the ambient occlusion map as it could add some more details into the grain of the wood. And once we bring a texture in, you can see that it looks a lot darker because it blended both of those textures together. Because this is looking too strong, we're going to take down the value of the ambient occlusion.